guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, we are here with another painting for our 30 paintings in 30 days series. I have some inspiration just off camera. I've got some paints ready. We're gonna use watercolor this time. I have a desert inspired um, Daniel Smith color palette. These are the colors in the palette. And we are gonna get started and I'm gonna walk you through what I'm doing. I'm gonna start again with my flat um, half inch flat Princeton Neptune brush. And I think because of the inspiration photo, which is kind of a um, rainy city scene, I'm going to actually start with getting some of our neutral tint, which is like a gray here on the, can you, no, you can't even see what I'm doing. Let's see, hang on. Probably is helpful if you could see what I'm doing. There you go. Okay. So we're going to start with a gray, a watered down gray. I'm going to add some extra water to that. And I'm going to just flick some. We're going to try not to get it on the painting that we haven't done yet. Okay. And then I'm going to just go in with some water. I'm going to blend some of it around, flick some more part paper that part of the paper that's dry, it's going to stay as a dot, the part of the paper that's wet, it's going to spread around and blend, which is fine. Um, I need to plug the heat tool in because that's going to be important. Hold on, I'll be right Okay, back. repositioned myself a little better in the camera, I think. All right, so that's a good start. Okay, I'm going to continue with the flat brush for now, and I'm going to grab a little more of our neutral tint, our gray color, and start to make marks. That um, is my computer going off in the background. Sorry, guys. Suggesting buildings. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to it. So we have Prussian blue here in this palette, which is a very pigmented color. These are Daniel Smith, so it's going to, yeah, see, it's going to really turn that blue, which is okay. Add a little water. some neutral tint down here, get something that's a little darker. And while that paint is still wet, add some water. So it blends. Work with the shapes that just kind of organically happen. I want to make the bottom of the painting darker, sort of ground it. Okay, we're going to switch to a uh, round brush. Let's see. Oh, it's too small. Maybe this one. This is a round number three. This is another Princeton um, brush. 
and we're gonna grab some quidocridone magenta, just a little bit. Get some Indian yellow, mix it into that magenta and like turn it a bit orange. And the reason we dry so much between layers is so that our colors don't mix too much. So I'm gonna go back to my flat brush for a minute and I'm gonna grab some of the neutral tint right out of the pan, which is gonna be really dark. And I'm gonna make some shapes here. Okay, I'm also going to go to one of my, I have a couple of teeny tiny brushes in here and also into the neutral tint. Okay, dry it again. Okay, and we're gonna go into the blue that we made. We're gonna we're gonna start with trying the blue that we made anyways and see that's not dark enough. We'll add some more pigment to that. Sorry about the background noise, folks. That is my computer. I'm gonna blend some of this out a bit. Okay, dry it. Okay, I'm gonna, before, I, I am gonna go in with a white gel pen, but before we do that, I'm gonna take some of the buff titanium that we have in our palette. I'm gonna add it to this orangey color over here, and I'm going to add some of the Hansa yellow, which is a brighter yellow. Need more of that. Okay, and... Try that. Okay, I'm gonna try, I have a gel pen and a white out pen, so we'll see which one works. And I wanna go in here and just make some shapes. I need my reading glasses, because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there we go, that's better. 
Sometimes your gel pens don't really want to write very well over your watercolor paints, which is fine because that kind of sketchy look might be what you're looking for. Um, but it might not be. So if that's the case, then, you know, you might want to make sure you have, um, like a, um, a whiteout pen or something. So this is a street scene, um, albeit an abstract one. So all I'm trying to do is just define the shapes and I'm making sketchy lines. If you've been water watching me for a while, you know that I'm all about the sketchy lines. And so um, I just want to suggest the shapes. I don't want to like do you try even try to do realism? Um, it frustrates me because I feel like I'm never that good at it. I'm gonna actually switch. Let's try the whiteout pen. I need a scrap piece of paper. Okay. It's very abstract, but I actually, there's something about that I really like. So let's rip the tape off, at least on this side, and let's see what happens. So these 30 paintings in 30 days should be about, for the most part, experimenting and playing with your paints, your colors, get you back into the habit of painting if you've gotten out of the habit of doing that. Um, I have a fa favorite few artists that inspire me for watercoloring, but one of them is Jean Haynes, who loves the abstract, um, ab suggested realism in abstract watercolor painting. It's really, her style is really cool. I'll try to put a link to like her website or something in the description below. I'm gonna just leave that like that, but there you go, I love that. Now I did go underneath the paper, uh, the tape a little bit, so one thing you can kind of do is like clean it up just a little bit with a little bit of whiteout pen. It won't do a perfect job, but it'll be good. So there you go. There is painting number three of 30 paintings in 30 days. I hope you enjoyed the process and I will be right back. How is that for today's painting? I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are gonna get the talking version here on YouTube. You're just gonna get the speed food through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye guys.